Tallest building in the state of Indiana, the Chase Tower. And we got time for a quick break. Hey, Kevin. Well, the big man. He sure is. Thanks, David. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Trey Young. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Indiana, Sabonis and Turner up front. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Levert. And it's Warren in at the small forward. Bogdanovich, Ryan Scapella, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. We got a lot of talent in the front court tonight between these two teams, Doris. That's where a lot of the focus for us will be. We will have an opportunity to see offense being run through the low post, so the interior defense is going to have to be strong. Will you send an extra defender? Where will that defender come from? There's a lot to play out here tonight, Kevin. Sabonis, and a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. We are talking about 6'11", 240 pounds of nothing but big time athlete. Domantis Sabonis is doing work. And it's Warren with the ball for the Pacers. Lovert with the final good look. Drills it from outside. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. Here's Levert following the basket by Trey Young. Sabonis, the best of Brighton. And James shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Clint Capella. Well, to me, this franchise has got to be thrilled and excited about the upside Miles Turner has. He's a hard-nosed player who wants to be great. Young pass to Capella. Hunter, no one around him. Carries it from three-point range. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Young with the steal. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And having to respect Young's deep range defensively. It's hard to close off the lane. Here's Levert, and there's the pass to Brighton. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And one thing I like about Brogdon is his size. A huge 16 wingspan for a guard gives him an advantage in matchups. Let's him finish over smaller defenders as well. I've been looking it over. Looking to end the run. Sabonis gets the turn. Just trying to shoot. The offensive rebound. Good work defensively by Capella. The Atlanta leading by four. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Here's Brogdon. Plays it up and picks it in. And Greg with Brogdon and his size, it allows flexibility on defense as well. Yeah, I mean, it makes switching on the pick and roll easier with him at the top. There's a lot of flash to how Brogdon plays on the floor. You can't deny how impactful he is in all facets. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Against Sabonis. The feed to Warren. Moves back up. And Sabonis finishes it up. Well, Demonte Sabonis has a nose for the basketball. He understands if he keeps moving, he's going to get to the offensive glass. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. And Doris, last season, Demonte Sabonis turned a corner in terms of development. 
he became a key cog in this offense. That's exactly right, Greg. Coach trusted him in more pick and roll situations. He allowed him to do more heavy lifting within the offense. And Sabonis has got great basketball IQ. He understands how to make reads, set solid screens. This is a guy who makes people around him better. And here's McConnell following the three-pointer from Cam Rich. Got a hand on it. Gallinari using his length right there. Nicely done on the block shot. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Feeds it to Okongwu. Turner with the steal. Now the Pacers moving it up. There's McConnell. That shot off. And Atlanta will come the other way. Pushing it up. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Hawks have been perfect with the line so far. Being just two for two. And free throw good from Reddish. The Pacers making a change here. Chris checked in, and so he makes both from the line. Today, Greg, we see a lot more friendly rivals. Does that bother you? Not at all. I mean, people like to say, well, our era had the rivalries were more bitter. Um, I disagree with that. I, I think guys are every bit as competitive today as they've ever been. It's good to hear. Uh, they just also have more exposure and opportunity to be around one another. Kids today growing up. They've been playing against each other since the fifth, sixth grade in national tournaments. When we played, we didn't get to see the other top players around the country. So I think that was one reason why you didn't have a closeness with guys that unless you were on the same team. And here's McConnell after Gallinari made the last three pointer. McConnell scanning the floor, right on the bucket. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. 43 seconds left to play in the first. That's two percent. On deep three-point range. Dolinari with the rebound. And so it's Dolinari with it. They'll bring it up for the Hawks. They have a nine-point lead. 17 seconds left to play here in the first. And it's good for two. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Now, here's McCullough. Pass to Brissett. Launches it. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Atlanta. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And glad to end you with a slow second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a very convincing performance here from the Hawks so far. I know it's early, but all those three pointers. Boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court right now for the Hawks. Kong Wu is out there going on. And there's Tony Snell. Then it's Reddish. And it's Herter in at the point. So it's Atlanta now. After the miss three from Doug McDermott. A nice shot by Gallinari. Well, some contact there on the shot, but Danilo Gallinari, much improved upper body strength, maintains his focus, nicely done. Now here's McDermott, still getting warmed up offensively, no scoring yet from him. Holiday, the pass to Lamb. Now McConnell. Passes at 2%. Indiana needs to get a shot off. No good from Lamb. The Hawks leading by 13. Reddish the pass to Okongwu. And it's tonight. Here we go with Holiday coming in up the court. Here's McConnell. That one drops and he's now two for five. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. 
So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Clint Cavella, he's checked in for Okonghu. Collins comes in for Gallinari. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Reddish. Young is subbed in for Kevin Hurd. Cavella, the best to Young. On deep, Collins score the basket, his second of two attempts. An improving three-point shooter, Collins understands the role of today's big man. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. I'm going against Young. No one here, Turner, as he lets it go. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's Collins with the try. Three pointers. Snell. And Collins is right there. Collins has got five points now this quarter. He's becoming a true force on the offensive glass. Love how hard Collins goes after those second chance opportunities. Now, here's Brogdon. Levert finds Brogdon over Young. Atlanta with the rebound. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And it's Bogdanovich in the court. Here's Snell. He's covered by Ward. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young for three. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Young's got seven points. And they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. We know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason playing tournament get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. So for the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Following the three by Atlanta. And that one's good, Brockton. And guys, getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Solid there. Just recognizing when to drive. But when Young has some wiggle room, he sees opportunities. Outside Warren. Yep, that one goes in there. Warren's got his first two points. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Ray, can you really compare players from completely different areas? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There is no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example. And there are many others, but, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation, or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind, Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he... No doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys, yeah, truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played it. Pacers trail by 18. One oh four left here in the second. Warren, the pass to front. He doesn't hit that one. Atlanta's gotten out from three-point land in the second quarter, going four of five from downtown. And he makes that one. And the Hawks lead by 20. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Now, here's Warren. Back to Sabonis. Outside Warren. From deep. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got four rebounds in this game. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Hunter's got nine points. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Brogdon and Capella sends it back. Quick off 
the floor, has that long reach. Capella there with the intimidation. That's a double win. That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stop. And let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a so as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one side. Hawks lead. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. You look at the core of this young Hawks team. They have Trey Young, John Collins, yeah. And that'll about it. And with the second half of us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but... Boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now, let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Sabonis and Turner up front. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Kyrus Wolver. And it's Warren in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. A nice shot by Young. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Sabonis, high post. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got three assists in the game. Hey, well, you look at the development of DeMontis and Sabonis. If you thought he could be a franchise-caliber player, we might need to reconsider that given his play last year. In against Young. Brogdon outside. And the rejection by Collins. The pass to Young. From deep three point range. That's good from Collins. On the assist from Young. Collins has got 10 points in the game. The Pacers have gone one of three since starting the second half. And Sabonis putting up all-star numbers last season. Greg, you and I think he's just getting started. Yeah, I mean, Sabonis only dominates a few areas of the game. Not a big defender, but he could be a 25 and 14 type down the line. He's still under 25 years old and has room to grow as a player. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Young from outside. No good on that one, and Indiana will go the other way with it. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Center foot shot. No good on that one. Collins with some nice D. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Here's Hunter. Buries the corner three. He's got 12. And, and so many teams Hunter. now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Teams changing it up here. So, timeout called here, the first four, Indiana. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And there's the basket whistle blows a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The Pacers shooting their third free-throw attempt of the game. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. McConnell with it. Over in the corner, Lamb. Off target from three-point range. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Okongwu kicks to Gallinari. Over in the corner, Reddish. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, this looks like a pre-game shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Third quarter action is just under three and a half minutes have gone. McConnell with it. Valinari on him. Indiana moving it around. But they'll get another chance. 
Brissette passes to McConnell. A three ball. And the Pacers can't get it to go. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And there it is for him. Okamu's now got his first bucket in this one. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. As to Lamb. One forty-six left in the third. Off the run. The shot off that time. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Pass to Herter. Out to the wing. Down low. He kicks to Reddish. Let's the three fly. They get it again. Here's Okungu. Comes up empty down low. Indiana's got blank in three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Indiana again missing. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And the shot is good. Okungu's now got four points this quarter. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. The Pacers are shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And the first one goes. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Miles Turner is checked in for McDermott. Joseph Holiday comes in for Lamb. Kiris LaVert checked in for Aaron Holiday. And Brogdon subbed in for T.J. McConnell. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Clint Cabela, he's checked in for Okongwu. John Collins comes in for Gallinari. Hunter's checked in for Reddish. Lou Williams is subbed in for Tony Snell. Brogdon the pass to turn. Brogdon outside. Offensive rebound, Pacers. A second chance effort. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Right, this is the size of Miles Turner because he's so skilled at using it to pick up these fouls. Sabonis, so he's checked in for India. Trey Young, he's checked in for Atlanta. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. Kicks it to Capella. Outside Williams. Collins wide open, he fires. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Collins has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Hawks. Over against Williams. And here's Lovert. Takes the three. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one shot. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Atlanta shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. On the court for Atlanta. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Lou Williams out there with Chris Dunn. And it's Fernando in at the center filling out the middle. This is it to Sabonis. Sabonis, great positioning on the foot pass. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Dunn kicks to Hunter. Outside Williams. Launches a three. Another three for Atlanta. And they have been relentless from deep, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Dunn passes to Collins. Holiday against Williams. Dunn left side. Puts up a three. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got six rebounds here tonight. Holiday against Williams. There's the pass to Sampson. Shot clock at five. Here's Holiday. True on the 14th foot. And he 
Jones should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. That's good from Collins on the assist from Dunn. And that's 15 points for John Collins. Bases have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Holiday looking over the floor. Here's Sumner. Dunn covering. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Sinks the three pointer. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Here's Dunn. And he comes up with the deuce. Dunn's got four points now in the quarter. That's just unreal body control. Chris Dunn really showing up the D with that shot. Sumner passes to Turner. A three. Rebounded by the Hawks. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional Mobile One block. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. T.J. Ward, he's checked in for Indiana. Bob Donovich, he's checked in for Atlanta. Indiana making some changes. Brissett's checked in, and it's Lamb in there for T.J. Ward. Atlanta also making some changes here. Ogongu is checked in for Hunter. Reddish comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Tony Snell subbed in for Lou Williams. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Indiana moving the ball over. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Hawks have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. And the wide open shot from Reddish. No good on the triple. Indiana's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. And a wide open look for Lamb from outside off the mark. Hawks shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. And it's blocked. Here's Sumner. Here's Simpson, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Dunn kicks to Okongwu. Dunn left side. Astro Kongwu. Smell from outside. Carries the long range jumper. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Lamb with the ball. Okongwu covering. No good from Lamb. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. It's blocked. Done outside. Jacks up a three. A shot by Reddish, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing can fall. Then this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout. A dominating performance for Atlanta. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for John Collins. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Fernando, pass to Reddish. Done outside. Here's Okongwu, hands it from downtown. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. McConnell passes to Lamb. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. 
And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. It's nine seconds separate the shot clock again. Here's Brissett, and he uses the glass on the way up. Until the buzzer. And yeah, they gotta be happy with the outcome. Passes it to Okongwu. But they recover it to the right side. Snell. Samson pulls it in. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big market. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says a big breakup.